Right, welcome to this review for the new Blood Bowl game that Games Workshop have released. Uh, it's, a, it's a remake that I've been waiting for uh, long before I even started the channel uh, here on YouTube. Uh, so you had the old game of Blood Bowl, which I played. Uh, I played it once, and it was uh, about 10 years ago. I uh, really, really enjoyed the game. Um, so I'm not a veteran of playing Blood Bowl at all, but uh, I didn't want to get the old game. It was out of production. Um, when I wanted to get into it, I just thought I'll leave it, I'll wait and wait and wait until Games Workshop reproduce it and then sort of got a bit despaired thinking maybe they'll they'll never reproduce it, but Games Workshop have, they have remade Blood Bowl, uh, which I think is a brilliant move from them. Uh, it's probably the most excited release, I think, uh, in years really. Really have been waiting for Blood Bowl to come out. I've heard that they haven't really changed the rules, which I think is good. So the rules that I played, I really enjoyed the game um, with a friend of mine. Uh, all those years ago, all well, the rules are pretty much the same, just been remade. So here's the box set here. It does look very, very nice indeed. Nice solid box here. It's a rigid box, not a, a soft one you get with some of the games. But uh, it looks like they've done a really good job. So in this video, I'm going to review Blood Bowl, uh, going to break it open, see what you get inside. Uh, but I've also got the, uh, the Blood Bowl uh, Death Zone Season 1. Uh, which is the gaming supplement that you can get, so I'll have a flick through that as well uh, in this video also. So I've got my copy from GamingFigures.com, uh, they do Games Workshop at a discounted rate. I think this sells on the Games Workshop website in the UK for £65, which I think is a very reasonable price. Um, and then for here, look, it's £52 here if you go to Gaming Figures. Um, and then if your order comes to over £40, uh, which this does, then I think you get free postage in the UK as well. So it just means you can get Games Workshop stuff and then you get a discount off of the original price and then uh, Game Figures do a whole lot of different gaming systems as well. Uh, so, Blood Bowl then, nice artwork on the front. I mean the computer game has helped uh, to create a research of interest. I'm wondering if it's selling well. Uh, maybe if you have any heads up on that, leave that in the comments section. I imagine it is. There's a lot of old time Blood Bowl fans out there. There'd be a lot of computer game fans as well. Um, so I'm sure there's plenty of interest in this game. There's a very, very nice finish on here. It's like a matte finish and a uh, very, very solid cardboard construction. So this is a really nice production. The artwork's fantastic. Yeah, so. So that's the excitement when they bring back an old game, they redo it, and they really do a nice job. That's uh, it's definitely a good direction the Games Workshop are headed. It opens up the question, are Games Workshop going to redo other gaming systems um, like Necromander, uh, Epic 40,000, Titan Legions, uh, those kind of systems as well. I hope they do, because all, all those games, I remember reading I used to really look forward to reading the old Titan Legions bad reports in White Dwarf. Really wanted to get into that. I did a little bit, bought the Titan Legions box set that came out, painted up some of the miniatures, uh, but just sort of got more into 40k. But um, hopefully, Games Workshop will redo gaming systems like that as well. And it means that you can, comes a point times when you're playing lots of 40k, and you think, I wish I could have a break from something. And often people go into a, a different gaming system. But it's nice uh, that Games Workshop. They can give you alternatives within the Games Workshop umbrella. Um, so Blood Bowl is completely different to Warhammer 40,000. Uh, it's good fun. Uh, great theme to have the Warhammer sort of uh, genre and then transported into a sporting game. <laughs> it's really good. So I've not seen inside this yet. So I'm not entirely sure what all these things are here. There's some sp sprues. Got to learn all the rules. So it's going to be a learning curve. I've got this just before Christmas. I'm going to try and learn this and play this over sort of Christmas period. So these are the orcs. We'll zoom in on these sprues here. I think they've done a really good job. These miniatures look very, very nice. So that's the sprue for the orcs. I'm just looking. Yeah, they're identical. So it's two, two sprues exactly the same. Just there, they look really good. Probably, it's really, I'm not sure on colour schemes. Do like the, uh, the, the colour scheme that you get on the box. 
So red, aggressive for the orcs, greens in there because of the green skins, and then for the humans, uh, this this cream and blue does look really good. They look nice colours to chip up, nice um, opposing colours to face off against each other as well. Nice ones to chip up and do effects on, also. So we'll probably go with the original colour scheme, I think. Yeah, so I could do like a spin-off of Gut Rippers colour scheme. It'd be similar to my orc colour scheme for my 40k orcs, but that's the sprue there. Look really nice. There's loads of spikes and knuckle duster type stuff on these guys. They do look very mean. Then two sprues for the humans. Just Games Workshop being wise. You know, one sprue, two sprues, and that's the game sorted out. So there's the human players just there. Look very good. Yeah, and I'll enjoy painting those, I think. Shouldn't take too long. Right then, just slotter bases there. Pack of those. All your dice. This is, he this is heavy, there's a lot to this. So, oh wow. This is really good, so. Whether they're doing this to protect what's underneath, because there's some bashes and scratches here just with the, the way things are packed. There's some spiky bits there uh, on the uh, sprues. Blood Bowl here, flip it over. Yeah, it's just an advertisement here. Really good, bloodbowl.com, which I've been on the website, it's really good. It's a sort of a dedicated website to Blood Bowl. There's the expansion. Yeah, this is Skaven Team, boxed up, looking very nice. Really excited stuff, they're gonna do a nice range all these different teams. So, good job here from Games Workshop and they're advertising their uh, Sigma 40k as well. But I'll keep that, that's handy to uh, just protect the contents in the box. All right, so, one for balls in the moment. So here's the board. And it looks like, again, a very quality production here. I'm just gonna get this opened up. Not just your average board, which I was expecting actually. I think they've gone to a bit more effort to make this one really nice. You'd be tempted to make your own brass one, your own sort of twin, but this does look very good. So it is a thick card. It is a, a, a very thick card here, thicker than usual. About the thickness you get with Space Hulk, I suppose, and then they've edged it here with a nice sort of fake leather tape kind of finish just to protect your board edges as well and I think they've done home and away pictures as well they're really really good so no complaints here at all yeah you can just you can just feel the quality of production here just open this out so they haven't downsized it in scale, it's big enough. Folds out lovely and flat, no curling at all. Brilliant illustration work. Excellent. It really is nice. If you get a measurement here so you can get a, a sense of the scale. Uh, the pitch in inches is 36 inches long. Big enough, bigger than I thought it would be, and then twin, just over 21 inches uh, wide as well. So 36 inches, it's pretty good. So that's that, we'll leave that out. So then you get, so that's where the weight's coming from, because that's so thick there. Uh, we'll turn it over actually so you can see. So it looks like the home pitch for the humans perhaps. And then just want to be careful, we don't want to cause any rips in this. Yes, yeah, this is the Orcs home ground. Clever move that from Games Workshop, so you're getting double usage here. It's a dreadful state of the pitch. <laughs> Skulls and bodies and planks of wood, dead grots, and so on all over the place. Yeah, nice job. So you can play home and away. There. So really nice finishing touches here. No sense of any rush going on. A lot of thought and effort gone into that. 
Perhaps then there's just keeps getting better here. So Blood Bowl 2, I'll have a, a computer game in there as well with some steampunk codes. Transfer sheet for your miniatures. They didn't have to do that. They've even got here. I'm going to zoom in here because this is very good. Right, so zoomed in so you can see all the different markings available uh, in black or in white. And then they've even labelled the different players in this nice sort of American football style writing. I'm sure you can use that as a trim to put on the bases. So I was wondering how it's going to label the different types. And you can actually put that on as so a throw up, catcher, blitzer, line. And then come down here, they've done the equivalent for the orcs. And then in an orc sort of handwriting, they've done the same there as well. This is really, really good here from Games Workshop. So there's a lot more in here than I was expecting. So brilliant job from them. All the numbers for shoulder pads and so on, the eagles uh, and different symbols being used and alternating, so between white and black there as well. So really good. So you get that transfer sheet as well. So then you get this. Common sense here. This is just where players go that have been knocked out, pretty much dead, disciplined. Time out here as well, keeping track of time and dice scores all on there. So, really nice. Oh, and home and away again, I've done it for orcs. So, you've got the equivalent there for the orc player. Can't complain here. There's two here sandwiched together, so we'll just open this up very carefully. Like again, it, uh, it's good value here, but the price isn't too bad. You know, if it was up near £80, you'd still pay for it. I think it'd still be worth it, but they've kept it at 65 which I think is very reasonable. Very, very reasonable price indeed. Yeah, it's getting two sets. Like so. Maybe, I'm just trying to figure out what, why you'd have two of the same, maybe two human teams playing against each other, something like that. The Orcs have their own one there as well. More of a cave sort of impression with that one. Great fun. I mean, it just, you know, the focus is not just the miniatures in this, it's all the surrounding artwork all comes together. You know, when it's all laid out, you've got these laid out across and all the different cards and things you've got. Uh, very impressive game indeed. So then you get a set of cards. Right, just opened up the deck of cards. So special play, miscellaneous mayhem. Special play random events, deck. And then player cards, just flip them over. There's the players, you can lay all those out in front of you. And then maybe some teams don't have a thrower in it or a catcher perhaps, so you leave those cards out. Blitzers and throwers and linemen here for the orcs. Oh, here's your special characters. Griff Oberwald's back here in this deck, Mighty Zug. And then random events, Badger, Git, Hometown Fans, Friendly Fans, Incoming, Sprinkler Malfunction, <laughs> Johnny Waterboy, Heckler, Rowdy Fans, Everyone's an Expert, Ball Clone. So really mixing up the game here, get them lads. Bad Habits, Iron Man, Kid Gloves, Knuckle Dusters, Blackmail. Magic Sponge, Ego Trip and Mine, so that's that deck, there are three different decks there. Then there's the production itself, I've, I'm sure, have they done, yeah no there's crossover here, um, between the computer game and the board game, it's the same artwork being used. So there's that collaboration going on there. Just what I thought I recognised that from the computer game. Uh, or similar sort of illustration style, which is really nice. So we'll get this one opened up. Okay, so it's not just the book here, there's some. Alright, so it's just a rule summary here as well, so you can keep these out handy during the game. It's just a, I imagine it's just a summary of all the rules. Yep, so you want each. On a nice card, and then here's the official ball book as well. It doesn't look too long, so it looks pretty good fun. 
just have a flick through the book. Projected straight to you by Cabal Vision in association with Bugman's six X's of brew. As frothing as the players. <laughs> so does that ever? So you open it up. There's a reference there for painting. Looking good. Blood Bowl's classic illustration, I remember that from the old uh, edition that came out. That's the game all laid out for an introduction. Orc team, human team. Just giving you the layout here. Oh, this is for your measuring, right? So this is what this is, long pass, short pass, quick pass. So your distances uh, there, that's what that gray sprue was for. Uh, footballs here. Just saying what everything means. I mean, just as your basic boot camp here, learning what you can do. So I've seen battle reports or uh, video reports, Blood Bowl uh, game reports, and okay, there's a bit to learn to pick up. Quite a lot of roll offs and charts and things to consult, so it would take a while to pick it up, I imagine. But then that just adds to the, the dynamics and the enjoyment of the game. So, But when I, I remember playing, it was straightforward to pick. If someone knew, if one person knew how to play, you could teach the other person pretty quickly and have a pretty good game, pretty much straight away. Extra rules. Fan factor. There's quite a lot here actually, there's a fair bit. There's plenty of depth, depth to it. Skills here, and then this section in the world of Blood Bowl. The origins. Oh, that's interesting, a bit of fluff then, but a storyline. Star players here, just actually added in. Mighty Zugs covered. The league tables, Hall of Fame, team profiles, Reclam Reavers assembling the teams. Oh, constructions here at the back, painting schemes, how to paint the miniatures as well. There's the humans, and then Death Zone Season 1 advertisement there. So, all in one there, everything framed together in one book. Then, we'll just bring in this one here. So you have to buy this one separate. This is just uh, Season 1 Death Zone. Uh, it's about £12 from Gaming Figures, just discounted there. Just wondering what you get inside. So, Death Zone Season 1. Uh, oh, so, you, so you can play Blood Bowl as it comes. The two teams are playing off against each other. You get a few extra characters in there and so on. Uh, but for all new teams, so recruit Dwarf, Skaven, Nurgle, and no fewer than four different varieties of elf teams. New star players, a rogues gallery of showboaters keen to sell their prodigious skills to your team in exchange for gold pieces. Uh, league rules, link your matches together and watch your team grow in fame and fortune. All new seasonal league system provides you provides all you need to organise the Blood Bowl games for your group and prove yourself a worthy devotee. It's helping you do like tournaments and so on. Skills teach your players new and entertaining ways to pummel the foe and win victory on the pitch. Teach your players. Interesting. Coaching staff give your teams a much needed boost with cheerleaders, assistant coaches and apocryphers. <laughs> Exhibition play want to really let loose Exhibition play lets you create experienced teams or use famous teams and pit them against each other in the ultimate test of sporting prowess. So they're boasting a fair amount here. There's a Skaven team. Halfling referee. The nice colour scheme there for the Orcs. As well. So there's the all new teams. Talking about Skaven teams. Stats for the different types there. Nurgle is covered there. Dwarf. Teams, Elven Union, sounds good. High Elf teams, Dark Elf teams, and then Wood Elf teams. So I'm not sure what the Elven Union would be. Interested to see how they come out. So you're going to be expecting box sets, and then blisters, perhaps, or special characters to be coming out in the future. So it's plenty of room for expansion in this, for sure. New official rules. More there. Post-match sequence, expensive mistakes, and then optional league rules, skills, 
A whole chart to all new skills. There's an illustration. Might be one of the older ones. Plenty of skills. Coaching staff. Exhibition play. And then uh, Hall of Fame here. That's the new characters. The Auckland Raiders. Their famous team. Official reference guide. All the stats just for you there at the back. There. Characters and some more illustrations at the back. This game looked quite nice in the yellow, actually. Quite good. There's a goblin referee, and then uh, an alternate colour scheme for the humans and the roster. You can keep it back. So that's that extra. You can expand into it. You know, you, I'd imagine you play, a, a, you know, play a lot of Blood Bowl first as it is. Get really, really good on the rules. Learn like all the rules really smoothly, and then you think, I'll mix it up a little bit. Fancy getting another team? It's not really expensive to get into. You know, buy a one box set, gets you a whole new team. Um, and then because of the the variety in Warhammer, all the different factions, then it makes for really interesting teams with extreme ends of different types of skills and so on. So uh, it'd be really good fun to do different teams. Uh, but that's that one, Death Zone Season One, covering those uh, different teams that we're able to get. So that's the review, that's Blood Bowl, uh, I mean, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, it's a fantastic production, uh, every detail is covered here, there's so much more inside this than I was expecting, Games Workshop have done a really really nice job, uh, really looking forward to painting up the miniatures uh, and then uh, using them uh, in games of Blood Bowl, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Blood Bowl, I do want to keep the channel 40k, uh, but do look forward to getting this painted up and, um, just as a break from Warhammer 40,000. Uh, you can play a few games of Blood Bowl. More of a game you can put out on a table with friends. You know, it's not too much effort required. Just pull the box out, lay out the stuff, and then just get straight on with the game. You know, 40k is terrain and a fair bit more organising to do. It's probably a lot longer of a game. This, I'd imagine, isn't quite so long to play. I'm not sure if it tells you here how long the game lasts for, uh, but I'd imagine it's a fair bit shorter than your regular game of Warhammer 40,000. So it's a nice alternate break. Uh, superb production here. So. Uh, I think you'll enjoy Blood Bowl if you pick up a copy. But that's the review. Very impressed indeed. Leave your thoughts and comments. Maybe you've already played Blood Bowl already, the new version here. Leave your thoughts uh, as to how good you think it is. Uh, and then your overall impressions of the game. And if you know any rumours of what may be coming next, um, then leave that in the comments section as well. I think Games Workshop seems to be the last few months. Uh, they've been releasing some good stuff. They head, seem to be heading in a really good direction. Um, you know, things are perhaps they were coming towards the end of the, the Lord of the Rings. Um, so there's that gaming system sort of fading away, and then all the trouble with Age of Sigma, uh, and then you just seem to think they're going perhaps in the wrong direction. Uh, but it seems to be at the moment they're making good choices, decent uh, uh, releases coming out. Age of Sigma seems to be picking up. Uh, and then they're going into these specialist games, revamping successful games from the past. I think they're headed in a really good direction. I hope they continue to do that. But if you know any rumours, leave that in the comments section as well. But there it is, that's Blood Bowl. Really, really happy to see it uh, reproduced here. Games Workshop done a fantastic job with this one. Uh, and as I mentioned, you can pick up uh, your copy from GameFigures.com. Uh, they do uh, Warhammer 40,000 and other Games Workshop systems. They do Blood Bowl, discounted rate. Uh, and then it's 15% off. Extra 5% off if your order comes to over £100. Uh, and then uh, orders over £40 in the UK get free delivery as well. So you can check them out. That's gamingfigures.com. But that's the review for Blood Bowl. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.